Hey guys, and welcome back to another review. And today, I thought I'd review a highly requested series called Game of Thrones. After reading your comments and tweets, I decided that I'd give you all my full thoughts on all 12 seasons of Game of Thrones. So let's jump in, shall we? But first, a quick summary for those of you who haven't seen it. Game of Thrones is about a woman named Daenerys Targaryen and her boyfriend, Jon Snow, in their quest to become the Game of Thrones. Along the way, they meet Incest Lady, a dragon, some other dude, and Peter Dinklage. However, dude with teeth for face makes winter come, so Jon Snow has to figure out how to keep the Iron Throne warm as it will get too cold to sit on during winter. Then Daenerys gives birth to a dragon and becomes the mother of dragons. There's also this kid who gets beheaded at some point, but he probably deserved it because I think he ran like a V-Bucks pyramid scheme or something, I don't know. Not only are there over 40 playable characters, there's an amazingly expansive world with amazing graphics and RTX compatibility. Not only does the game look beautiful, full, it feels great to play. Not only is it enhanced by Xbox One X and PlayStation Pro, it runs flawlessly even if you're not using an enhanced console. Oh, and don't even get me started on how good it looks on PC. When I first looked at those graphics, I was in complete awe. I, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. So what's the story like? Well, it's amazing. There are tons of characters and each one has a fully fleshed out backstory that the player can learn about through reading ancient scrolls. Oh, and the combat is flawless. Fighting dragons feels amazing, and even just casually harvesting food and other items just is really fun to do. However, it isn't flawless. There are a couple of issues I have with it that I would like to address. First of all, the fighting's pretty unrealistic. While it feels amazing, there's a lot of beheadings and all sorts of things like that that just... I don't know, it, it, it didn't feel right, in my opinion. Plus, when it comes to customizability, there aren't really a whole lot of options. Most of it boils down to just basic palette swaps. There aren't a whole lot of like interesting changes you can make to how your character looks. But at the end of the day, it looks amazing, it feels amazing, it plays amazing. I love this game. I give it my famous score of seven sex scenes out of 10. 